In the book of Mosiah, we read how the ancient Book of Mormon prophet King Benjamin gathered his people throughout all the land at the site of the temple, caused a tower to be erected, and taught them. As he taught them, he also prophesied to them of our day. And moreover, I say unto you that the time shall come when the knowledge of a Savior shall spread throughout every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. One of the most precious gifts to treasure within our families and to give to others is the knowledge, is the knowledge of a Savior or of Jesus Christ. The opening of the dispensation of the fullness of times in 1820 brought an enlightenment upon all mankind and a waterfall of technological advances. It brought with it the industrial age and communication tools allowing the prophecy of King Benjamin to be fulfilled. Finally, I offer two merging risks which Ned has cast over virtually everyone, including young women and millennial mothers and wives. I label these two risks as idealized reality and debilitating comparisons. I think the best way to, de to describe these two risks is to offer some examples. Now, generally speaking, pictures that get posted on social media tend to portray life in the very best, often even in unrealistic ways. It's often filled with beautiful images of home decor, wonderful vacation spots, and elaborate food preparation. <laughs> well, with all of those virtues, the danger, of course, is that many become discouraged that they seemingly don't measure up to this idealized virtual reality. Here's an Instagram post by a mom who just pulled hot homemade blueberry muffins fresh out of the oven. Now, here is the unseen reality. which more often may be the more accurate picture of real life. <laughs> Inspired by this pin of a pancake birthday cake, my niece recently posted her attempt at the same. <laughs> How about that? Shall we let her know we think that she nailed it? <laughs> so rather than allowing this to create undue pressure, Jennifer decided to inspire others by posting her Pinterest fail. And there it is. Hopefully we can learn to find more humor and less discouragement when confronted with images which may portray idealized reality and which too often could lead to debilitating comparisons. We have both the prophetic words of ancient prophets which perfectly characterize our time and give direction for our day. And moreover, I say unto you that the time shall come when the knowledge of a Savior shall spread to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. We also have the words which come to us through modern-day revelation, speaking to and giving guidance in the use of technology for our time and our circumstances. I quote Elder Bednar, I believe the time has come for us as disciples of Christ to use these inspired tools and appropriately and more effectively to testify of God the Eternal Father, His plan of happiness for His children and His Son 
Jesus Christ as the Savior of the world to proclaim the reality of the restoration of the gospel in the latter days and to accomplish the Lord's work. I would like to invite each of you to more fully consider your role to preach the gospel of peace as lovely messengers. The best way to do this is one step at a time and in a unique way that works best for you and for your family. May each of you have the courage to blog, pin, like, share, post, friend, tweet, snap, and swipe up <laughs> in a way that will glorify, honor, and respect the will of our loving Heavenly Father. <laughs>